Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin Masson here from Nintendo Dads, and today we are going to play some Bomb Chicken, do a little bit of a let's play. Uh, now, Bomb Chicken is currently available in your Nintendo Switch eShop. Came out a, about a week, uh, maybe a week or two ago. Um, I think it came out in the EU first and then North America. Uh, this game was actually highlighted in a the March Nindies Showcase. And it definitely had my attention. I thought it looked very cool, looked like a ton of fun. So I was very excited for this game to uh, to release as well. So let's uh, let's get right into it. We're just loading up right now. And our developer here is uh, Nitrum or Nitrum. <laughs> PFC. So, uh, obviously, a play on KFC. We look to be in some kind of underground uh, area. Some Mayan ruins, maybe, or something. I don't know. All right. That, uh, that is us. Okay, we get some quick directions. Hanging left, open switch, switch goes up. Okay, perfect. Let's move forward. There we go. So very simple um, controls, you know, left, right, and then your uh, bomb button, which is your, which is you laying an egg. You laying an egg is, is how we do here. We're gonna move on. Collecting gems, obviously we've seen those in the right-hand corner going up. The typical wall break uh, gaming design on the left hand side. Collecting more of these, uh, more of the gems. So the neat part about the uh, about the bombs is not only are they obviously your weapon. Oh, died there. Jump right back in. Uh, not only are they your weapon, but they also provide verticality, uh, as we can see, right? So you can, in this case, we're going to stack them up here. It gives me verticality to move to the next spot. I've already uh, got that, so we'll move on to our next area here. So controls, like I said, are very simple, uh, but very enjoyable. A little bit of Mario Kart, uh, or sorry, Mario Kart, Super Mario Pipe there, that green. I don't know if that's an homage or just I'm reading into things. It's always possible. There we go. So again, I wasn't able to get that switch normally, but the verticality of the bombs underneath me provides me that lift. A little bit of falling here. Um... Boom, okay. Again, we can see on the left-hand side there's our typical... Uh, oh, me dying is what we typically should not see. Game over. Okay, well, that was no fun. I should, I should say, that was fun. The game was fun. I just was stupid. All right, let's do a quick run here, shall we? You've seen all this before, so we'll we'll do a quick little... Quick run through this. There we go. I like the... I like the chickens here that are also running around. Like I have been, you know, mutated into super bomb chicken, and these ones are just like, "Hey, how how are how are you doing that? Where how are you? Why are you? Why are you getting bombs that fall out of you like eggs? What is what is up with that?" So we're doing a little bit of a speed run here, I guess. I don't know if I use the word speed run, but I'm moving fast. I would say that about bomb chicken is that there is no like super run speed button here. This is just kind of hey. Doing me, you know, I'm just kind of putting along, doing my thing. See, told you we'd be back here. We are back. All right. There we go. So we have opened up the hatch on the left-hand side of the secret area now. Oh, okay. So we have kind of invisible block areas. So let's see how far we get here. Oh, no, the invisible block appears to stop. There we go. All right, let's activate our treasure box. There we go, we got some more gems, perfect. Now we'll get across this. There we go, boom, 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 look at that. We are off to the races, folks. 
I also like how PFC looks very toxic in the background. Looks like a very a place you would not like to eat. That green slime is probably not good. Maybe they should just call this game. Oh, look at this. Okay, so welcome, lay an offering, and we shall be rewarded. Okay, there we go. I've laid an egg. There we go, and I get an extra life. Cool. Okay, and I have so so the blue gems help to create currency to buy lives. Cool. I like it. That sounds cool. Um, so the more gems I get, the better, right? Oh, there we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's get out of there. Okay, up, 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 up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's blow this pop stand. Okay, or treasure box at least. Now I don't need to be there to actually collect them. Appears so that's great. So we got a lot of a lot of blue gems down here. Cool. Yeah. So even if the like the bomb occurs. You can see that it actually just takes it over there. There we go, yeah. Okay, I like it. Oh. There we go. They're getting somewhere now. Love it. Okay, so yeah, they're talking about here. Kind of punching it and moving it forward. Good moveset. So I mean, there, I mean, there's a lot of, ooh, squishy stuff. Um, a lot of fair bit of movesets that you can actually do with just, you know, a bomb. You know, whether it's kicking it forward, whether it's giving you verticality, whether it's giving you verticality and then falling down to then, like, hit uh, secret latches because of, you know, pushing pushing them. I think it's great. It's very cool. It's a very neat premise. Uh, controls feel real tight. I'm playing this on the Pro Controller. Um, there we go. It's a lot of fun, actually. Like, I'm really, I'm really, really um, enjoying it. I think, it was, I think it was relatively cheap. I think it was like $12, $12 or $15 maybe on the eShop. So, I mean, that's definitely worth the investment, I think, in my opinion already. Oops. Got a little bit too close to the squid. Now I am a squish chicken. Oh, that's cute. I like the I like the animation of coming back that way. I think, I think conceptually it is a very cool idea. There we go. Now, I mean, you might have, you know, chicken fatigue. I mean, we've got chicken wiggle coming up soon and bomb chicken and... I think there was another game I saw recently, Chicken Assassin or something like that. Like, Chicken appears to be the... Appears to be the name of the game here, folks. Oh, come on. Quickly, quickly. Oh, you jerk. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. These guys feel like the minions, but like green. I feel like they probably, you know, some evil corporation stole these, um these green minions and gave them hard hats to work for, um, you know, PFC as their, as their kind of, you know, workers. I feel like there's a dark story there I want to learn. I want to learn more about that dark, dark story. All right, I got 38. How many do we need? I need 20. So there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're getting more lives. I like it. I like this kind of like um, gifts to the gods of getting me lives. Um, yeah. Okay, now this guy looks a little bit more intense. He's a little bit different than what we've seen before. And there appears to be something over his head. It looks almost almost like a 8-track, maybe, or a cassette. And if you are too old to know what, uh, or too young to know what either an 8-track or a cassette is, go talk to your parents. Okay. I don't think bombs works on this guy. So let's see here. No, bombs definitely do not appear to work on him. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Right now, I'm just gonna avoid him. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if I throw the bomb at him, maybe it works? Okay, and that appears to be like maybe a key card. Okay, cool, cool, I like that. Oh, oh. That is a bit of the trick, right? So I was too close when I pushed that to, uh, to, just to, to him, and that was not good, not good at all. There we go, okay, so, okay. What are we doing here? I think that's a down hatch, right? That is a down hatch, yeah. Okay, I should not be able to go in that hatch. So let's go... I'm gonna check anyways, though, because I'm I'm like that. Nope, I'm right. Should have believed me. There's down arrows, so why would I not have believed myself? Okay, let's go this way. A little fall over, a little fall over. Probably need, yep, build a little bit of a... Uh, build a little bit of a ledge there to get myself over. There we go. Up the, as I would call it, the Super Mario pipe. Hmm... Three, six, six pig bats. I don't know if they're pig bats for sure, but they look like pig bats to me. Light them up. Now I know the other three should be over there. Okay, there we go. All right. 
You make this look good. I really do. Like, you're welcome. You are welcome. Okay, over through the hole. Oh, seriously. Oh, I should have seen that one coming. Oh, I'm on this side of the... This side of the spikes this time, so that's alright. Uh, that was slick. Didn't even see that one coming, did you? Okay, grab some more of our gems. Grab some more. Yeah, we'll move it that way. Don't oh, hit the light, apparently. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm getting too cocky. I think I'm too. I think I'm too good at this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just. I'm just. I can't. I gotta. I gotta check myself. Way too cocky. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like I should have known. I should have known what I needed to do there, right? I needed to be closer. I don't know why I was thinking that. But the nice part is, the fact I have had to restart, they're already saying like, hey, you don't need to completely restart the entire area. You kind of go back to this checkpoint, which is where we came in before with our, uh, after we did our uh, offering to the chicken gods to our life. Uh, and by the way, we are already gonna let you say you already have some of the, the tape and stuff. So you can kind of jump back in. So I do like that they're a little bit, um, a little bit uh, lenient, I guess I would say, with uh, with where you check in and, and how often you can do that. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can get it this time. I think I'm gonna. I feel good. I feel good about this right now, guys. Come with me. Come with me on this amazing chicken egg bomb adventure. Boom. There you go. Boom. What do you say? Boom is what you say, because you're a chicken bomb. That's what you say. You're a bomb chicken. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I feel like this could be deadly. I feel like this could be deadly. Pro, pro right here, folks. Boom. What do you say? Oh, look at this. This could be fun. Bouncing, bouncing. Yes, yes, that's how you do. Okay. Look at that. See, and that's the nice part. I don't even have to touch the bombs, but as long as my blast hits the bombs, I can get the... I can get them. You know what I'm saying? I can get the gems. Oh. I guess I'm going this way. They even sound like minions. Like, come on, seriously. Like, I would imagine that's what, like, a minion who just got hit with something sounds like. Ooh. Ooh, spikes down here. Spikes down here and some. There we go. Some switch. Switch gonna give it to you. There we go. Boom. We are on our way here, folks. So this should be bringing us to another one of our offerings. We needed 40. I have 33. They're gonna be like no dice for you. See? No dice. Broke my heart is what it did. We demand more blue gems. Okay, all right. You're you're quite demanding. You're quite aggressive about that. Be be aggressive. Well, that wasn't the kind of level of aggressive that I wanted, but okay. Let's see what we got going on here now, folks. So we have the so we have the. There we go. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh. Conveyor belts as a level design always frustrate me. Because there's the right level of you hitting the button, right? There's a right spot for where you need to... Especially this. Okay, so I have to get... Okay. Do you mean like you find that sweet spot using... Uh, well, that wasn't a sweet spot at all. It's a dead spot. Like you find the sweet spot on conveyor belts, you know I mean, where you're not quite dead, but you, you you know get your controller at the right angle. This is this is what's going on here. I hate conveyor belts. I think the worst conveyor belts were in Mega Man. The worst conveyor belts ever. Okay, here we go. I want to try and get myself up to this, up to that pipe. My Mario pipe, my Mario pipe. There we go. There we go. We're up there. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Stay away from your blast there, son. Okay. Get close. Close, but not too close. Oh, like a bomb chicken boss. Look at... You know what? That's how you do it. That is that is how you do it. There we go. Okay. Gonna go up. So, yeah. I'm... This, this is great. This is a lot of... I'm having a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun. Definitely worth the definitely worth the pickup on the eShop, by the way, folks. Like this is a this is a unique game. It's very cool, very enjoyable. Uh oh. 
This is not, I don't think this is gonna go well. What are we gonna do here? Oh, yes, there we go. Haha, -ha, look at that. Open the gap, fall in the gap. Smart, smart like chicken who poops bombs. There we go. Um, I would definitely recommend this game. Like, I'm having a ton of fun with this. Uh, I think the price tag is is right if, if price is one of those things that you're concerned about. Oh, it's a unique concept. It's very cool, very accessible, by the way. Like, this, you could definitely play this with your kids. There is no two player option. Um, but, I mean, I think you can kind of do the passive controller a bit. Um, and I think if you are an old school gamer, this probably kind of fits your, you know, if you kind of like those 2D platformer levels or games, I think this definitely is, is right in that wheelhouse. And, and it, again, provides like a different, oops, different approach and different, uh, I guess, different design than what we would maybe be, you know, used to. It's not a run and gun, shoot them. It's a, you're a chicken who lays bombs like why would you not want to pick this game up you'd be ridiculous not to um we're gonna play a little bit further then and then uh and then we'll see uh we'll see how we get on there we go so i've got my 40 there we go got another heart i like it that hit the spot all right level design is good i like it um i mean soundtrack is pretty pretty much environmental. There's no um, real additional... S oh, I killed him that time. There's no kind of like big, um, you know, soundtrack other than this kind of bass um, environmental sounds and a little bit of music in the background associated with it, but that's okay. Like, you don't need sweeping scores all the time. I think it fits the kind of the look of it. I mean, it definitely feels like this game would be, you know, th you could have seen this on a um, an N64, or sorry, a Super NES ca cartridge in the early 90s, you know, I could picture going into a game, a uh, blockbuster, and picking up Bomb Chicken. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the aesthetic and the look they're going for, which I think is awesome. Um, like I said, controls are really simple, very easy and approachable. Um, I'm having a great time with it, so that's, that's always good. There we go. Down the tube we go. Oh, spikes. I hate spikes. I really do. I hate spikes. Oh, there we go. There's your kind of standard wall blowing up thing. Oh, that's why I hate spikes. That is why I hate spikes. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Okay. We got a treasure box down there. We got some of my chicken friends over there. I don't think I should have fit there. I think I probably should have died. I don't know why that worked, but it did. I'll take it. I will take it, I say. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey. There's our gems. Sweet. Now we've got 21. And we'll just scooch ourselves over there. Scoochy scooch. There we go. Ugh. Spikes. I really do. I hate spikes. Spikes and moving conveyor belts are the absolute worst. Like, let's... Like, if we could just all agree as a gaming population that those are the worst, we would all be fine. And we should be like, we demand no more spikes and moving conveyor belts in our game design. And if you think I'm wrong, you're wrong. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Not even a come at me, bro, or send your email. No, you're wrong. I'm right. <sighs> okay, more spikes. This more just looks strategic, cause I just gotta, you know, go up so many. Hang a left. There we go. Okay. What do we got going on up here? Oh, there you go. That's clever level design. Back to where we started, and we saw the original ones. And we were like, hey, how do I get to those? That's how. Oh, I just blew up that guy. Turned into a roast chicken. Look at that. That's funny. Okay, of course, now you gotta go the other way, right? So how many do we need? Two? There we go. Two? There we go. Ah, uh, you see what I'm doing there? See what I'm doing? That's smart. That is smart. Like, I don't mean to be, you know, gloating, but that's smart. I'm good. That's, I like that. What's going on with this guy? Is he sleeping? Is he dying? What's up? Well, he's dead now. I will kill you. Uh-oh. Oh, spikes, spikes and conveyor belts. Uh, I should I should write a strongly worded tweet 
to the designer. There we go. This guy again. Okay. Oh, oh two of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there any way that... Okay, I'll go around here then. Maybe? Yeah, let's go in here. Go right here. I'm going to go... Well, there we go. Ha, I killed you. Let's go up. Tricky, let's go down. Let's go up. One, two, let's go down. I'm kind of trying to get him distracted to come somewhere else. Oh, no, I missed that completely. Oh, okay. Huh. So it looks like I could, if I throw them at him, that's great. But if I, but if I run him into him, not great. All right, guys, looks like we're finishing off this level. I think this is probably a really good spot here to be finishing off. Let's take our last couple of, uh, let's see, I mean, we need 80, and I got 31. Ugh, that is, that's not good. That's not good, folks. All right, we're going to, we're going to end our review here, guys. Thanks for listening very much to, uh, for Nintendo Dads, and this has been Bomb Chicken, um, and I would highly recommend that you pick this up. Um, 2D platformer, 16-bit style, Europe chicken that lays bombs. It does not get much cooler than that. Um, guys, thanks very much for tuning in and uh, and supporting everything that we do here on Nintendo Dads. Um, of course, like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Subs you're on this YouTube channel. While you're here, subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell button so that when we provide more videos, you get notifications. You're like, hey, that's the latest video from Nintendo Dads. I need to watch that right now. Check that out. And of course, if you want to, head over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Dads. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can help us create amazing content like this video and the podcast and everything that we do every single week. Um, but guys, thanks very much for tuning in and, uh, and be well. All right. Bye-bye.